Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back to Coastal Living. We're here with Dr. Chad Peters, and today we're talking about diet trends. Diet trends? They're there hot. I mean, them. the last decade, like I've said with everything, the whole, it's a revolution. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new stuff going on in the, in the health field, the nutrition field as well. Absolutely. You guys are part of this stuff. I know you've heard them, you've done oh, them. Oh, yes. And some are just an old diet with a facelift or a new name, right? I agree. All of I them agree. are. Yeah. Right? Okay. All of them are. There's nothing <laughs> new happening. But then, you know, once you correlate that fact, then you're like, okay, well, let me go back and see how that's worked out in that's history right. for other people. So what yep. are we starting with? Well, let's get into keto. That's okay. kind of the hot one right now, Big the keto time. diet. Like it's been around for the last five or six years. Mm -hmm. It was around in the early 2000s, known as Atkins diet. Mm -hmm. And there's your, there's your typical keto, right? Uh -huh. I'm going <laughs> to eat keto and all of a sudden I'm just going to end up ripped and probably have a Hollywood blockbuster. Yeah, totally. So, <laughs> of course, that's what happens. So right? it's it, out of every diet thing I've ever seen, I haven't seen more emotion attached to anything keto. since keto. Uh -huh. it's, it's incredible. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like a CrossFit guy. Yeah, so like sure. paleo and primal was huge. And this mm -hmm. blows paleo and primal out of the water. Okay, so for people who have no idea what keto is, yep. let's explain to so our audience. So keto is ketogenic. You guys talked about macros yesterday. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is we're taking carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all of our kind of primary fuel, mm -hmm. and we're switching that to fats. So you have to wake up some like dormant biological machinery that can start burning fats as fuel, and now mm -hmm. all of a sudden the magic of keto happens. Okay. The problem is that's not what most of your friends are doing. Mm -hmm. What most of your friends are doing is they're just not eating a lot of sugar and a lot of crap, and mm -hmm. so they feel better. Sure. So it's not a true keto, and that's really the big debate. You know, and, I think, and why are people losing so much weight though? Because some people swear by it and right. they're really getting So that's, that's my thing, yeah. Even if you're doing it poorly and mm -hmm. you're just decreasing crappy carbohydrates, mm -hmm. you're still gonna lose some weight. Of so course. I'm okay for it in any form, despite if it's a true keto or a not a true keto, I don't care. Get rid of your crappy foods and you're going to start feeling better. Right. Because yep. some people are using it as an excuse to, oh, well, now I can just eat a bunch of greasy bacon right. and a bunch of this and a and bunch of that. Do you remember when that was called Atkins, right? Yes. I mean, that was the Atkins diet. That's not keto. Okay. I know they call it keto and they're, mm -hmm. they're really they're really ripping it off what it's about, but no, sure. that's not a true keto. Keto is very, very healthy foods. It's avocados, it's coconut okay. oil, it's making these great fuels. Poor fats are just poor, it's garbage. Yes. You're still not getting it. And you good. know, because your body feels it. Like I've cleaned up my diet recently just to get ready for the wedding and I feel lighter. You can feel it. You, my gut health is great. Mm -hmm. Like yep. I've got more energy. It's good. Yep. You okay. feel it. And speaking of the gut, so people with digestive systems, right. me included. Digestive issues. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Problem, Issues with, with the digestive system yep. or anything mm -hmm. that correlates to that. How can the how can keto um, be beneficial for those people, especially yep. if meat? I feel like takes such a long time to digest in your stomach. Mm -hmm. yep. And cheese. I mean, I know cheese is part of the keto diet also, and I don't think that's typically that great for you. So cheese is more the the um, modified Atkins, right? So it's just like the high fat, low carbs. But mm -hmm. cheese isn't going to fit on a true keto diet right. because it's just mixed with so many other things. Yeah. you're talking a whole different animal there with mm -hmm. like bacterial gut health. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a that's a huge thing. That's the one that I'm super interested in right now because I came off antibiotics it, at Christmas like time. Mental and like, health you know, and stuff too. Everything, right? it everything. All goes you know, to your gut. I talk about inflammation on almost every show I'm in with you guys. Mm -hmm. If your gut is inflamed, you're inflamed. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. So switching these diets out and trying something different than you've been doing, sometimes you're going to get those benefits. It's yeah. not that keto is built just for gut health. But when you've eliminated Doritos and you've eliminated these thousands of, when you're on mm -hmm. keto, you're not eating very many different foods. No. Yeah. You're eating like five or six different foods and that's it. Mm -hmm. So you've Some cut people all are like, ugh, that's not my yeah, keto. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're not doing mm -hmm. it right. But when you're doing it true, you've cut out a bunch of junk. That's why yeah. you're feeling better. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So then on to the next one. I have a lot of <laughs> trouble saying this. Yeah. Intermittent fasting. Right. So I was talking to Herschel <laughs> backstage. He's like, intermittent fasting. Like moms and dads invented this. You just sure. don't eat till yeah. lunch, you know? <laughs> you just it's can't. exactly what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. You're just not, you're skipping some meals and you're getting a smaller window. So it's also okay. called 18 6. It's in 18 hours of not eating, six hours of eating. Is and that you just the average receded. window that we have? Yep. Six hours? And you're, you're probably, your biggest benefit of that is exactly what you're talking about. That's the gut health. That's mm -hmm. a decrease in your insulin response in your body. So you're starting to get the, the, the body just feels better. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because people think you're going to be starving. I think the picture, I don't know if we had it up I'm, there, but it was Tom Hanks, like, you know, on the <laughs> island. They're me. like, this I'm is intermittent fasting. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely I've worked so hard too. for this muscle and I'm wasting <laughs> away. That's not what it is. You okay. guys, you're really not going to feel hungry at all until you have your first bite of something, then you're hungry. Okay. So then you've got your window to hit it. But it's, right. it's mostly about cleaning out your diet and much less about 
the, the you're going to have decreased calories, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you're not going to be able to slam 2,500 calories into one meal. Mm-hmm. Says so you're going to have Peters. that. Yeah, yes. right. Exactly. Because I'm sure some people are <laughs> right, right. Well, we could, yeah. Because <laughs> some people use that as an excuse, and I've witnessed this, like, oh, I'm doing intermittent, intermittent mm-hmm. fasting. I always want to say fastening. Yep. <laughs> anyway, um, where they're scarfing, like, yeah. Cheeseburgers, pizza, French fries. Right. No. Like, this is my window. That's like I can binge eat eating, I want. which yeah. is what it's I want. Bi- <laughs> yeah. It's binge eating. So, yeah. how, how so can good. you train your body to. The thing is, like, our body, just like working out and everything, our body wants some change. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you're stuck and you're unhealthy and you feel miserable every time you wake up and you're 400 pounds, mm-hmm. you just have to try some different stuff. So, I'm just, I'm more about these are great options to try to get out there. There's not one that fits everybody. Okay. Yep. Great. So, moving on to uh, what we discussed yesterday macros. Cool. What are macros and what's up about so them. macros is just science it's not mm-hmm. a diet at all but because we're in the crossfit world because we're in the gym world macros has become kind of its own animal so exactly. now you'll hear people say like well i'm on the macro diet mm-hmm. and all the macro is is you're counting your calories and you're counting your nutrients and yes. you can switch the ratios to do what you want mm-hmm. if i want to gain 20 pounds of muscle i have to switch my ratio from what i'm eating now to make it a more muscle building set up. If you're yes. trying to drop weight, that's you like switch your macros equation. to build it out. Yeah, every bodybuilder on the planet has become an expert on macros mm-hmm. because that's the science. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's not a diet, it's a science. And you guys should all get to know your food. As far as like me discussing, hey Chad, do you like macros? I don't count my food <laughs> a lot, right? I'm just, yeah. I, it's too bro-ish for me. Sure. <laughs> but I will tell you like like the full disclosure, like I just needed a change after the Super Bowl. I'm like, cool, we're just going to start counting. So no, I'm, I'm a, so I'm a macros coming. guy sure. for a while. Yeah, I'm macros girl right now, just leading yeah. up to the wedding. It's, and I've got it's, somebody it's helping science, me. It's science, man. It works. Working. It works. To it's me, working. I just wish someone prepared it all for me and just That's said, just eat this, then easier. it's done. Yeah. Which there are people yeah. out there. So you can look around and find someone credible who will do that work for you. And that's yeah. where I struggled. I was like, I get what no, macros no, are. Sure. I just can't figure out what mac- like what number is working and what ratio is going to work right. for me. So I've invested in someone to yep. keep track of my and, body and check And when you get online and look at your favorite celebrity and they say, oh, I do macros. This is how I look at it. They've got it prepped. They, ha- exactly. they have a chef in the house doing that, that stuff. And but their recipe isn't going to work for you necessarily. Everybody's different. Right. Yeah. Well, it depends what your goals are. You yeah. know, find your version of fit so you can make the macros fit. You don't want to be mm-hmm. doing what the girl on Facebook does just because she does it. You want to do what works for your body. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's what macros is really all about. I don't know enough about them, but it's really about kind of keeping up with them and balance, count, balance and count, mm-hmm. counting your macros. Yeah. I've never done that thing. before. I, I think in the last year, it's got skewed similar to how the intermittent wars turned into binge stuff, though. Yes. They're oh, like, well, I, I wired my macros just perfectly so I can have a six pack tonight. I'm like, yeah. well, that's not it's no. kinda But there, how there it is fits. a way to say, sure, I can have that slice of pizza. One, <laughs> you can. since the rest of the day, I was very, very on point. So yeah. there are some little baby moves there that you can do to still indulge just if you want sure to, you're just not it, yeah. binge eating. And we've got one more to go over, reactive foods. I'm clueless. What are we talking so about? So reactive foods, these are getting really big. So when I wrote that article up, <laughs> it was scary foods. So I want to do it at Halloween. That's these are cute. basically things that you can eat and your body will treat it as if it's an allergen, right? Okay. So I think I think down here in South Texas, we tend to call it allergies, but it's not. Mm-hmm. But, but reactive foods are typically very healthy foods mm-hmm. that just don't work for you. Interesting. So it's one of those, kind of like the 23andMe that we just had on there. Mm-hmm. The best group is called Everly Well. You get a blood test. It tells you how reactive you are to different things. Mine were like oats, right? I'm an, I'm really? an oatmeal. I'm a granola bar eating guy. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Like those things mm. are very reactive to me. And And sweet potatoes. Any kind of potatoes and nightshades I'm very reactive to. Well, if you're eating these day after day after day, that's when you start wondering like, why am I not feeling better? Mm-hmm. Like I, and how it all came to be with the reactive foods is kind of before it got popular. My wife was asking me, like, how come you don't have abs, man? Like, you work out all the time. You eat really well. Like, why do you not have abs? I don't know yet. Why do I not have abs, you know? But I think it was because two of my meals a day were were oats-based. Like, it's your body just treats it wrong. It tries to flush it out of your system, and that takes extra water. So you're always carrying this seven to eight pounds of water with you. Mm -hmm. And then you do it 20 years in a row. And you wonder why you have digestive issues like irritable bowel or Crohn's yes. or colitis. It, these are the fixes. So when and you start figuring out the reactive foods, you're fixing your body. Now you're getting the gut health turned back on. I feel like this is probably the one that you relate to most. Oh, with absolutely. Proteins, right? With proteins, with yep. any types of meat, beef yep. especially. Yep. And it's it's funny that, I mean, I'm not making fun, but your wife said, I don't, I can't believe you don't have abs. I feel like I hear so many people say, I'm going on all these diets right. and I don't see results. It's, it's almost always reactive food. It fits into all of them. Exactly. Now, the biggest reactive food out there that everyone thinks about is gluten. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm telling you, gluten got huge. It's got its own aisle at H-E-B. Mm-hmm. Right. Gluten's like a guy in the band. It's not even the biggest rock star. Like yeah. there's, there's, these are called lectins, and those are what you're reactive to, and they're mm-hmm. in all kinds of foods. 
So if you want to dive really, really deep into this stuff, you want to start looking at lectins. So okay. that's kind of your, your next level up. Can we make that like one of our next topics? Lectins, because oh I would man, love it goes deep though. It's a huge rabbit this. hole. It's scary because you're more like, about everything's that. got lectins. Mm -hmm. How do we do it, sure. deal with it? But yeah, yeah well, I'm happy to, to talk paranoid, about that stuff. But we definitely want to encourage our viewers. You know, I definitely learned a lot through this segment, so I hope that you did too. Um, thank you for your time yeah. and Thanks, for touching on a few of these different fad diets or just diets to try. And we hope you learned a lot.